Welcome back. So where do you think the first food truck originated? I'm not too sure, but I'm going to take a stab at it. I think uh, somewhere around uh, Mexico, Tijuana area. California? California. <laughs> Louisiana? I think Houston. Houston, I think, is the uh, first place. Because I remember back in the, uh, the Roach Coach days, Taco Truck days, so. Well, actually, the answer is Texas. After the American Civil War, the demand for beef grew. And since railroads didn't cross in certain states, Texas cattlemen had to travel across the land on horseback. Well, Charles Goodnight, a Texas rancher, knew that these men had to eat while they traveled. So he invented the first chug wagon. He took an old army wagon and loaded it up with pots, pans, and everything else needed to cook and serve food to the hungry cattlemen. I had no idea, I had no idea. That's crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> I should have guessed. Yeah. Is it? I, yeah. Loaded question. <laughs> Dang it. Seriously? That's crazy. That's where we are. Wow. There you go. You're right. You heard that? That was right. <laughs> that was right. You're an idiot. <laughs> awesome. I, I really didn't know all that. I've worked in restaurants for 30 years and um, you know I've always worked for somebody else and finally uh, I've gotten the opportunity to decide to open up my own business. I think it's in Houston is a great time to start up a, a small business. Uh, first of all because of the economy and second of all because uh, Houston is now accepting gourmet food trucks uh, within the past two or three years and uh, I think I'm in the right spot at the right time. For sure. I've been a chef, around, chef and general manager of high-end white tablecloth restaurants for uh, since 91. I'm sort of doing it backwards than most people. Most people in this industry start out with a food truck and possibly move into a brick and mortar. Well, you know, I've done that and I'm going the other way, you know, and, and so that's why, that's what's uh, really uh, fun for me. And what would you say is your favorite part about owning a food truck? In the interaction between the guests, just like any other restaurant. I mean, that's what chefs live on, is the guests saying, you know, um, I had a, actually a couple come from Kingwood over the weekend to, um, over on Montrose, and come all the way from Kingwood, and then they put out a, a note on Twitter saying this is the best food truck and the best uh, quality of food the best pricing that they've ever had. And that just blew me away. That's what we live for, is those kind of interactions with our guests. Yeah, you know? that's what keeps you going, yep. it's what feels it. How do people get in touch with you, and how do they find where your truck is at? Facebook and Twitter. Uh, it's a non-stop, that's, that's how this industry is actually communicating between the customers, between other truckers, and you know, and the community, uh, particularly through Twitter. Um, it's, you know, you, you think all you can have to do is prep and, and do your cooking. Well, if you're, that's all you're doing, then you, you're wasting your time because uh, the, the industry works on Twitter and Facebook and, you know, websites and things like that. So. Um, I've actually been doing the food truck thing for about eight months now. And it took me a year to actually build out the truck. When we first got it, you basically needed a tetanus shot just to look at it because it was so rusted out. But we rebuilt the entire thing. It's a 1976 Chevy step van. Uh, we have our custom rims right here, the 24 inch painted rims, and we also have airbag suspension system and the full uh, cop setup with the lights and the bullhorns and everything like that. That's awesome. And what gave you the idea to open up an ice cream truck? Um, actually, it was. Uh, my, my son, I wanted to do something to spend more time with them. I actually got out of the insurance business and uh, my fiance and I were actually watching TV one day and it just the light bulb went off in my head. The food truck industry in, in Houston is really blowing up so you know, I decided to take the ice cream vendor to the next level and so we put together the truck. Are you from the Houston area? Yeah, yeah I was born and raised. Um, Obviously, whenever I was thinking about the concept that I wanted to do, it automatically came to ice cream because it's so hot, even during the winter time. <laughs> we get about two days of 
of really cold weather here, so it's something that, even though it's seasonal, it's really not seasonal here in this, in this region. And so how has business in Houston been? It's been really good. We uh, had our first corporate sponsor, Bounce Energy, uh, where we're doing a free ice cream giveaway at the Museum of Natural Science uh, three times during the summer. So Houston's treating us pretty well. I'm really happy. Do you have any advice to anybody else who would want to start up their own food truck? Um, you gotta love it. <laughs> it's not as easy as people think that you just buy a truck and go out there. It's a lot of, uh, you know, it's a lot of business development. It's about the going out there. It's about branding yourself, making yourself stand apart. Um, such as, you know, this truck or, you know, Curbside East, they have a very flamboyant style. Um, that's what I would really recommend is put money into the aesthetics of it and people will come. If they know that it's clean and that it's quality, people will come. So that's the main thing. And so what kind of ice cream and stuff do you guys serve on your We have everything that, uh, that a typical ice cream truck has. Um, we have everything from Bomb Pop snow cones. Uh, we do have the Lucas bars that have a little bit of chile in them. Um, right now I'm, I'm in the process of putting together my own line of gourmet popsicles. Uh, we've uh, pretty much selected 10, um, 10 flavors, custom flavors that we're going to do. Uh, and then uh, we just sent out to get more molds. So we're gonna start experimenting with that and hopefully within six months to, to about six months we'll have it out. Hopefully we'll see how, what happens though. Cool, yeah. are they gonna come be big happies? Yeah, well, uh, I'll let my fiance <laughs> name him. Yeah. Okay. So I'll let her make all the decisions of what we're gonna call him. So. Don't go away. More food trucks when we come back. So you came out early because why? The fries. The fries? Yeah, they're okay. half off tonight.